Look, I'm going to be honest with you. Sometimes the very thing that's holding you back is a thing that you're not quitting that you should quit. Okay, let me explain. I wanted to make this video to help you because it's something that I wish I learned much earlier in my life and in my career. Because for a very long time, I've lived by a quote that I love, which says, and I still live by this. It says, commitment is doing the thing that you said you're going to do long after the mood that you set it in has left you. So in other words, it doesn't matter how you feel on that day. It doesn't matter how you feel within the journey, how many rejections you're getting, how many people are not supporting you, whatever it is, you're going to get it done. And I completely agree with that. But in recent times, I realized that being too extreme with this attitude can actually keep you stuck. And people can sometimes take it the wrong way because being totally committed on a project works wonders. 100%, no doubt about that. It's the only way that you'll ever see something through till the end. You, you'll quit otherwise. If you're not fully committed, you will quit otherwise. But if you're in a relationship with someone that's cheating on you or someone that's abusing you or someone that's just not treating you right and putting you down and messing up your whole life, not quitting that relationship will break you. You'll lose your identity. If you're trying to launch a business that's just not relevant anymore, for example, like one of those old school blockbuster movies, uh, movie stores that we used to go in and, and check different movies and I actually miss those days, by the way. But if you try to build one of those businesses right now, man, you are going to fail. You're not going to make it 100%. You got Stan, you got Prime, you've got Disney, you got all these things, Netflix. So you'll be wasting your time. And my point is that be clever about when to stick to something and don't quit just because something is hard. Success will always be hard, but quit the things that are holding you back. Quit the things that's not relevant to you anymore. That's not relevant in the marketplace anymore. Quit because the timing is past. Quit because it's become bad and unhealthy for you. But here's the good part. The kind of quitting I'm talking about doesn't mean giving up. It means pivoting. It means changing the path, being flexible to adjust your route. So here's the takeaway from all this. Never quit on your dreams, but allow yourself to be clever and open-minded about when to pivot. Because man, I'm telling you, if you say, this is the way, this is the way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find gold, I'm going to find gold, I'm going to find gold, and you keep digging in that place, and there's no bloody gold anymore? And someone's offering you one of those detectors that checks where the gold is, and you're saying, no, I've decided, someone told me, a mentor of mine told me, there's gold here, and you can't find gold for 50 years, you're gonna die broken, miserable, and you're gonna waste your life. So never quit on your dreams, but allow yourself to be clever and open-minded about when to pivot, when to change and adjust, and when to start something new. Countless billionaires and millionaires are where they are today because they started multiple ideas that never worked out, my friends, until they found the one thing that took off like a freaking rocket. And here is another takeaway for you. If you're going to do something, do something that you love because success is actually very hard. It takes a lot of fight to get there. So you need stamina. You need the mental toughness. You're going to face a lot of discouraging and disheartening things from betrayals to people letting you down, from businesses shutting down, from the regulations changing. There are so many things to your health that's going to come and, you know, Put you off track for a while because something happened or someone in the family got sick or there was a there was a death in the family. there's so many things that can happen that you just want to make sure that you are sold out to the thing that you're doing and you're fully zoned in and committed and it's what you love and what you realize is that it's much easier to keep fighting when you love what you do so i hope this video was helpful for you you have a great day and god bless you take care Hey friend, I hope you liked the video. Before you go, make sure you subscribe to the channel and you hit the notification bell below. Like and comment in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you. And make sure you check out the other videos that we have. We're going to be releasing so much amazing content to serve you. So hey, have a great day and God bless you. Bye-bye.